Ta-da! Maybe original Joyce there. So that we can mark them out and then when we, we put our timbers up, we've got we know where the joists are to screw our timbers up to there, ready for boarding, to hide all this in behind the plaster boards. That's gonna look so neat and tidy, eh? Yeah, so yeah. but obviously it's painstaking time consuming work doing it, but well, it has to be done. And then it's nice and insulated here because it's bloody yeah. cold on this side. Yeah. And the eastern side of the house is very cold. Yeah. So yeah. once we've got the, we've found them, like at that side. Yeah. We chalk line through. Yes. Then we'll set us distances that way. Yeah. As timbers, and we'll chalk line it that way, and then as timbers go, go straight up, we know where they are. Fun Brilliant. Fun, fun, screw it all up. Job done. Brilliant. Job done. Yeah. Oh well, thanks so much. My daughter has started sewing the curtains for the rose room and the dining room has been taken over as a sewing room now. So it's great fun. But tomorrow we'll be on a trip and I'll explain to you everything when I get back. from um, Montagne, Montagne sur Gironde is a village where we're going to visit Louise and I'll explain to you when we get there what it's all about. Here we've got the tiny little sandwiches. Do you want to hold one Eris? So cute with the tiny bread. <laughs> She owns the company Flamantique. Flamantique. Dot com. Yeah. And she, they renovate these old, beautiful fires. Yeah. And I'm bringing mine here to be renovated. It's bioethanol and all these beautiful, oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. Bioethanol radiators. And you use them at home. And it keeps everything warm. And they also don't pollute the planet. And they don't need a, a chimney or a flue. You can stand them any way you like in your home. I like it's the antique things that we are using in the modern time. Exactly. That's exactly what I like. Well, That's I kind of thing. I, I mean, our dog here is a rescue. And all our stoves are rescues. I, and I'm a rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, just, uh, look at these. Yeah. Look at this. Look, this is a... These are all being renovated. Yep. And it's warm. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. See, that one's just too hot to touch. Yeah. It's an Art Deco, example of an Art Deco store. I've got these. Oh, Two of these. Yeah. Same, uh, même couleur. Same color. I don't know what they are. They, they look like. They're square. Yeah. They're square ones, but I don't think they're on feet. Well, you have to show me pictures. Yeah, I didn't go, I haven't taken the pictures because there's stuff over it and for me to move everything away, but I will get you the pictures. So we have, yeah, a variety from uh, 
the very earliest we have is here. Those are the old ones. That's... This was in um, railway stations for the SNCF in about 1900. Goodness gracious. We had more Art Nouveau ones here that are just in the process of being renovated. But these are all, this is a super rest of. Look at these imprints on them. They are gorgeous. They're really nice. So if any of you've got old radiators, like the one I'm bringing in to be converted, I'm going to put a link at the bottom with her address and um, a, a website, and you can contact Louise directly from there if you want any of your radiators. And we renovate all these stoves, we renovate them completely from the inside out. So we, we, we strip everything off, take everything from the inside. Uh, the enamel is carefully restored, all the windows are changed, and uh, we work with our Scandinavian partners to then fit them with bioethanol burner. That started because I'm asthmatic and I couldn't have any particles in the, in the house, so uh, we, bioethanol is a spirit made from plants, yeah. so it, it burns super clean, uh, so we don't have any problem with particles or pollution. It doesn't pollute so you know it's nice to get away from fossil fuels and you use something clean and that's good for the planet and the whole ethos of the company is green the stoves are all recycled we only use green uh, fuel even the workbench here was made from the form this was a winery before and that was the old carts that used to bring the grapes into the winery that we recycled as a as a bench so this here has been recycled yeah all this super heavy I mean, I think that's absolutely amazing. I'm the same at my, my chateau. Great. I do recycle everything if I can. Yeah, yeah. that's it. It's just a nice ethos to have, yeah. isn't it? But you know what? It's the old history brought alive. Exactly. And used in the modern age, which mm -hmm. I absolutely approve of. It's just so amazing. And if you look at modern stoves, they're all cheap steel from China. I, I mean, I'll show, you, I'll show you a modern one. Just so Here's you a modern one that. so that you can make a decision. This stove is about 10 years old. You see how all the enamel is chipped off the front. And then we lift the, when we lift the top off this stove, hold on, let me get there. It's broken already and it's only 10 years old. It's thin, really thin. It's tin. It's tin. From China. Yeah. Whereas if you look at an old one over, well, any of these, these are all heavy quality enamel. And if you look on the inside, for instance, this one, a lovely lady called That's Martina is buying. Look at the thickness. Yeah. I mean, you've got an inch, you've got two centimeters thick. Yeah, of cast that's the one it. I've got. So that radiates proper, you know, it'll keep the heat and by latent heat, heat your house uh, even after it's gone out. Yeah, because it stays in. Yeah, it's exactly. on the cast iron. Exactly. Gosh. Louise, I'm so proud of what you're doing. Oh, thank you. That's so fine <laughs> of you. It's that's just so, so beautiful. Well, Absolutely. When I lost my husband, I, I couldn't bear to let this dream go that we can I, I don't together. think you should, no. And it's really nice to have had the support from, from so many kind people. And it's been a real a quest and an adventure and just a delight to meet so many people that have helped, you know, along the way uh, and that are supporting. Well, I hope I can contribute a little bit. Ah, uh, that's lovely of you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. Well... That's everything well, for that's now. sharing everything with everybody now. We've arrived safely, my daughter and the two kids, and we are sharing this adventure today with you. So I'll carry on with, um, we're going to get my, my um, stove out and bring it in, and then you can see what it looks like before, and then we'll do the after, when she's finished, when I come to collect it. Okay. This is my fire, which is going to be renovated by Louise's company. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for this to be done. Thank you, Louise. No, I'm you too much. Max? That's super cute. Max? Yeah. <laughs>
Antonio is making a pizza. He's also rolling out his base for the pizza. And Eris is also doing it. And Anastasia, mummy is also doing hers. Look how she's doing that. Wow. Put it down there, let me see. Oh, look how pretty that is. Looks like a heart. Mm -hmm. Looks like a heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. I made a heart pizza. Did you? Yeah, you made a heart shaped pizza. So is this my pizza here? Yeah. Oh, look how nice that looks. There's the uh, size of it. Can you say that again? Ta da! Ta da! Oh. I couldn't see it. There we go. Ta da! And here's the pizza that we made. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed what I've put together and we've had a wonderful, adventurous week this week. And what do you think, Anastasia? Yeah, it's been a nice, busy week. We've been um, uh, spending time together and traveling and I've been working on uh, making the curtains. Yeah, the curtains are nearly finished and I'll show you next week when we're done with the curtains. And um, what else have we done? Oh, yeah, a lot. And I will share with you next week and you will see the stove when it's finished, when they deliver it. And then I'll share that with you as well. So please, if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up, um, leave us a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and become part of the family. I'd be grateful to you. So yeah. have a great time. Bye. Bye for now.